Well, I'm back at the white. I have the old brake, spring brake chambers off the rear axle. And there's one of the replacements. Now I have to crawl underneath and do the measuring to determine how long to cut the rod. I'm no expert at this. I looked up the information on the internet and I'm using an envelope to square up the slack adjuster with a brake rod from the chamber in order to determine where to cut it. It's always something. Now I have to get some half inch to three eighths reducers to get the air hoses into the new chambers. Now I have the actuator rod cut, the reducers in and the hoses on. And I have the other chamber on ready, now I'm putting on the second chamber. Well now if you remember a few weeks back I got that all disassembled, the foot valve. I got a new valve. So I got to reassemble all that with the new one to get it ready to install. I have the two new brake chambers on. I have the new foot valve on. I have work to do yet for the prac tractor protection valve. Line is broke, I have it plugged. But now we're going to see if the brakes work. I have the dash part here. I still haven't found a problem with the ignition. Sometimes it cranks, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to see if it starts now. Now, let's see how fast it builds the air at an idle. Meter's working, it's charging good, oil pressure's good. Now this truck doesn't have a low air warning light or a, or a wigwag up here like the Diamond Rio has. This has nothing other than the air gauge, but the air gauge is the most prominent, right straight in front of the steering wheel. But I think for an old truck, it builds air pretty nice at night. Brakes are holding. Well, you can hear, see that the spring brakes are holding good. Okay, now the spring brake should be released. And press them. And we got brakes. I'm really happy with the results. Set the spring brakes again. Or we'll see it from the outside.
I'm really happy with the results so far. Now I just gotta wait for title and plate to come in the mail and call the insurance man. I can try it out on the road. So far lights have worked that I've checked. Headlights, high, low beam, signal lights, tail lights, brake lights. I gotta put a signal light on this side. This one is broke off. Clearance lights didn't work. And I like these little glass lenses on the top. Uh, they must be like a parking light or whatever. I think they're pretty neat. Try to get those to work eventually. Next I'll be working on getting a hitch on it to pull my triaxle trailer or my big tandem axle tag trailer and get the brakes, air brakes on that working. So thanks again for watching. Like I say, I want to have this ready for the shows in August to pull my equipment.